right, well here we go. This is a DJI Mini 4 Pro early fall flight. We'll see if we can find a spot to take off here. As you can see there's a few leaves starting to fall. Not very many because it is early, early fall. So here we go, found a spot on the deck. See if we can get the motors powered up. There we go. And let's see if we can get off. Here we are. Let's go up a little ways. See if we get a precision landing when we come back. 20 feet, 25, okay. We're going to head out south a little ways. This video actually was done a couple weeks ago. I was processing it and uh, my hard drive failed so doing it again so a couple weeks old now so it's a little less green outside but still plenty of green as you'll see beautiful morning to fly it was about oh I'd say 10 o'clock in the morning and light winds uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour but we're just going to take a short flight here and just see how she does today. Here we go. As you can see, this first field here has been paid already. And he's got, well, in fact, he looks like he's out there right now. He's got plenty of round bales in that field. That's for sure. Not sure what the going price is this year or last year. They were about 60 bucks a bale. I'm not sure what they are this year. We'll come over here towards the railroad tracks and see what we see. No trains. Rats. I love flying trains. I like getting around trains. Look at those round bells there. You know, add a, count all those round bells up and he's got them stacked there and then multiply that by 60 to $80 and you'll see what kind of money that is. Just letting your field grow. <laughs> they sell a lot of those to feed the cattle. During the winter time, so no trains on the move today. And so anyway, we'll go down south here a little ways. Look at how many bells he's got already stacked up. He's got a lot more work to do. Picking those up, man, a lot of money in that field. Little bitty pond there. No deer out or turkey out by it right now. And deer season is open now for bow season, so. A lot of hunters out in uh, a lot of the urban areas out here and a lot of managed deer hunts going on with bow and arrow right now crossbow so we're going to fly south southwest a little bit over this uh, it looks like a looks like a bean field coming up on a bean field there on the right pretty sparse didn't look like it did very good No, it didn't. Hmm. Somebody's been in there a lot with with a truck or a four-wheeler. No, it's a truck, I think. Oh, there's some blue lake. That guy's got a beautiful lake across the road there. And he owns that whole section of land, wherever it is. And uh, that's a that's a lot of land. <laughs> so we'll just kind of skirt his property here. And Head over the woods. You can see more browns in the trees now, and uh, some yellows and stuff coming in. There's a real sparse bean field. Not not very good here. Obviously, they didn't get a whole lot of rain. We've had a shortage of rain here for a while, but had a lot of rain in the spring, and uh, a lot of the farmers had. Problems getting their crops put in because we had so much rain. And I know one one day or oh, two day toll was almost six inches one day early in the spring at our place. So uh, farmers are they had a hard time getting some of their crops in. So you see a wide diversity of the people that got them in. You know they're already harvested or harvesting now beans and corn, and the people that got them in late you can tell that uh, they're not anywhere near ready to be harvested so well he's got a lot of moss in that pond on the end of that corner of that pond doesn't he i would like to wet a line there mm -mm -mm -mm. 
Unfortunately, that will probably never get to happen. He's got some nice docks there to fish on and everything. And it looks like he's put some kind of crops in here, probably for the deer. He butts, he butts up against the, uh, the conservation area here. So he's got some kind of row stuff he's put in there. And the deer are all in here pretty thick right here. In fact, we're running a managed hunt right now for the deer in this area right here. So we'll slide over the, there's, there's that pond. Look at that. Isn't that neat, the colors in that? How cool is that? Lots of small channel head catfish in there. That's neat. I've caught a lot of small catfish out of there. It's usually so full of moss and stuff like that that you can't hardly fish it. But I thought it looked real neat, so we'll take a spin around it here. And then we'll very slightly this way, and then we're going to Go to the left. Aha! Down that power line right away. Down the gas line right away there. I see a water tower. Love water towers. May have to take a trip over by it. This is all uh, conservation area. And it does have a lot of deer and turkey on it. And like I said, we run managed bow hunts in there every year. Try to thin the deer herd out a little bit. There's a nice small pond in there, so it looks pretty good. In fact, I've hunted in there several times and managed to take some nice dough right out of there where that pond is. So we'll slide on down here, and then I think we're just going to drift over here to the left. Okay, there's the power station, little miniature power station up there. And uh, we're going to drift over here towards our lodge. And this is just open field here. There's no nothing, no crops planted in there or anything. And there's our lodge in the upper right hand corner. And uh see my car there. So that's where we took off from the deck right there. So we'll just skirt it and get some altitude, camera altitude here. Not very high. And I think we're going to, let's see, we're going north now. I think we're going to drift to the left. Yeah, there we go. That water tower popped up in my vision again. I said, man, that's too good to pass up. <laughs> Just like a little kid. You know? I like water towers. I like trains. Boy, when I was a kid, we had train tracks right past our house. Always down playing around the tracks, waiting for the trains to come. And I may have known a couple kids that used to put pennies on the tracks. But I won't swear to that. But uh, if you could find them after the train ran over them, they'd be <laughs> bigger than silver dollars. Pretty neat. Uh, got hard to find, so the kids got a little smart and started taping them on the track. So they were a little bit easier to find. Looks like they have done our harvesting here. Pretty nice field there. Man, that does look nice. I'd like to hunt that area. So let's slide on down here and uh, take a look at this water tower. It's a pretty new one. In fact, they just built this, put this up in the last year, year and a half. I think they finished it uh, last year. But we'll take a look at it here and see how it looks. Okay, we'll swing around here and see what we can see when we see what we see, see? I like that short one. You guys have seen this a lot of times in my videos, that little short one, that dome there. It looks like it's almost got a wooden top on it. When you get right over the top of it and the sun hits it right, it looks like it's actually made out of wood. And it really looks cool. But enough of that. Let's see. I'm looking at that power line up there trying to decide, do I want to go up that power line or not? 
there's a uh, power line. There's a, uh, as you can see, that runs right past the the uh, water tower here. We'll do a little uh, orbit around here, just a manual orbit. Not paying much attention to what I'm doing, but uh, we'll try to do the best we can here. Yeah, there's the high line, the power line, and right to the right above it, you can see where the the gas lines run through there, natural gas lines. Yeah, it's neat looking. I like that. <laughs> Since I couldn't catch a train today, thought I would uh, see if we could get a little water tower in there for you. It's so new they don't have a bunch of antennas on the top of it yet, but give it time. They probably will have them up there. All right. Well, we're going to drift back up here and head southeast now. Head back towards our takeoff spot. And when we get this, we should be close enough. Well, we won't be yet, but we're going to try to do a return to home when we get a little bit closer and see if we can get precision landing on this. We're not too far away now, but we're going to fly her the rest of the way. It's been a beautiful fall so far. Uh, not a whole lot of rain. We've had just an inch or two in the last week, but uh, the fall colors here in the area I live in, uh, it all depends on temperature, but mostly on moisture too. So if we don't get a good, good wet fall, the colors just aren't there. And the leaves will drop off early and uh, you get a lot of yellows, dingy yellows and muted browns and very shallow reds. And the maple trees just don't, don't do well unless they have a, a good amount of uh, moisture. And then you got to time that with uh, falling temperatures too. You want those temperatures to get cold enough to where the trees start pulling back their sap, you know, and uh, you get that coinciding with the moisture. You get some good, good fall pictures. Okay, we're going to fly a little bit closer. We'll see if we can get a return to home here and get a precision landing and see how she does. Anyway, just a short flight for you today. Old Thelma Lou, she likes to get a little wind up her skirt every once in a while. Her sister, uh, Peggy Sue, the Mini Two, now belongs to my son, and uh, her other sister, Betty Lou, the Mini 3, she, uh, she is still in the collection. She'd like to get a little wind up her skirt pretty soon, too. There we are, almost back home. We'll see what kind of landing we get here. See if she knows what she's doing. There we go. That's a solid metal roof there on the lodge, so sometimes that does not help things. So let's see what she's going to do. You should drop the camera pretty soon here. The wind started picking up. She's still deciding. There she dropped the camera. She's made her turn. Boop, boop. She's a little shaky there, but let's see what she does. Now she comes in. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, stay safe out there. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That golden rule is always the best one to follow for everybody. We'll get a chance. We'll get some more content out there for you soon. Let's see if we are right where we want to be. There you go. Boom.